Hey guys, welcome back. Let's play Chrono Trigger. Last time we obtained the Rainbow Shell and got the castle in the Middle Ages to hold on to it to us for future generations. This time, well, the future is now. Let's go find out. Trial of the Century is about to begin. Who you ask? King Guardia? Well, things have changed since I was here last. King sold off the royal treasures. King ordered the court be locked until the trial's over. Okay, that's not how I expected this episode to start. Well, obviously I did. Wait a minute. Is that always there? Eh. Same thing on the left. But weren't, some, but weren't there some stairs over there? King ordered the court to be lying. Yeah, this was not here before. This is the treasury. No entry from icy monsters. Why are there monsters guarding the treasury? Hmm. Okay. Well, things keep changing around here. We keep doing things that are affecting the future. I ain't gonna po poison the chancellor. Cut the foolishness. I can't get anything done with you standing around. Well, yeah, things have made a pretty big change. Every time we do something with the, uh, the castle in 600 AD, it seems to have a significant impact on pretty much everything going on in this castle. I like how we have some influence, but in general, we don't have a lot. Mm, that one's still locked. No entry allowed. Let me through! As if it was hard to figure out, but Marley's required. Any of you heard of the rainbow shell? I too had no idea until I found this. It's an ancestral will. It says unveil the rainbow shell to the people at the Millennial Fair. We have no family heirlooms here. What do you mean? Forgery. Why does the defendant deny the people a glimpse of the rainbow shell? Because he no longer has it. He sold it for cash. Okay, then. We're conducting a trial here. She seems to like running out of trials. Wouldn't be the first time the Chancellor did something sketchy. He hurls insults. Confirm your innocence with proof. Proof? He hasn't sold the heirloom. It should be in the castle. Show me the rainbow shell, and I'll accept his innocence. Not liking that laugh there, buddy. What kind of trickery is this? Remove them. No entry allowed. Not even you, man, princess. Is the rainbow shell that shall prove his innocence? What are you saying? It's a lie. There is no heirloom. You've forgotten. History's been changed. The shell is within the castle. The rainbow shell we gave to my ancestors 400 years ago is still here. It's probably in the basement, which didn't exist before. Now, a lot of times when they'll play a song from a completely different era, and a completely different situation. I find it doesn't work, but this song is freaking phenomenal. And it just, it ramps up the tension tenfold every time it plays. And I think it does wonders for this area. Rat bit me. Boss is itching to avenge the grudge that's been in the family for generations. Witness the ultimate gods, down the line for generations! Yeah, gotta get that clip in whenever I can. I just, Armstrong just makes me laugh every time I hear him. I really need to re-watch both 
the original and Brotherhood. It's been far too long. But anyway, it's going to frame the king. Uh, by the way, do you, uh, do you notice the name of these snakes? The first one was dumb. The second one was dumber. I love stupidity. They did five damage to me. These are the same enemies that we fought in 600 AD. Same HP, same experience, and everything. So there is a plot. Let's hurry. I confess, I bought it from the king. Said he needed the cash. Never seen you before. Order in the court. Now, this happened last time around when Chrono was on trial. I think they're buying it. Why would you say any of these things in the courtroom? <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, well. And we're thrown straight into a battle. Naga Eddie, Naga Et, and an Asher. Again, these are the same enemies we fought last time there was an issue. Well, I'll just let it play out. Here, we have a Lapis, and here, an Elixir, and a Hyper Ether. Unfortunately, as far as I know, there is no way of accessing those other two treasure chests. If you're not moving, you will not be forced to fight these guys. Not that they're all that difficult. Again, these are enemies we've been beating for years. But uh, now here, you just wait, you'll be good to go. And we don't have to fight those guys. An elixir, hyper other, and a lapis. Again, I don't think there's any way of accessing those three treasure chests. The rainbow shell. Why this letter? To Marley. Dear Marley, I know things are tough between you and your father, but nothing can break your bond of blood, neither words of anger nor break distances. Someday when you have children, you will understand. The special bond is part of a family tree which links us together. Queen Guardia the 21st theme. Now the 21st is from, of course, 600 AD. I believe we're on the 33rd uh, king here. Let's make fate, uh, haste and fulfill our quest. Hang in there, we're coming. Got one prism shard. Members of the jury, who is guilty, stand to the left. Innocent, stand to the right. Now, considering a trial and a head of state, there are plenty of political things that could be said about our current climate. No, that is my answer. We're not talking about it. Play the video game. <laughs> With that said, the trigger is below these guys, so you'll always avoid them by doing it that way. We stall. We uh, won't run into those guys either. Just gotta find the right place to do it, and you're good to go. All right. Let's try this again. We have new evidence, even though they've already started uh, reading out verdicts. Not even you may enter. You won't reconsider. Sorry, princess. There is one way. It's a bit rough. Follow me. Oh. Um. Guilty. Guardia line ends here. This domain shall be mine. Take him away. Wait. 
who's there? Considering it looks like stained glass and it might as well be a church, playing this music makes perfect sense. She scared away all the soldiers and made the uh, Chancellor defy physics. She's awesome. Control yourself. You're too late. The king has been found guilty. Even kings are subject to our laws. This was a setup. Nonsense. The king's a crook. Treasure is right here. Impossible. Your little scheme is over, Chancellor. Your, I mean, um, hmm. <laughs> it's not the plot you think. You're to avenge my ancestors. It's funny how um, everyone, you know, the, the actual sprites disappear and the, the background doodads, all the crowd sticks around. Super Ultra Presto Transformo. Reverts to Yakra. The 13th. Blizzard Chaos. Ver Vigil Hats would be very much appreciated in this fight, which is why everyone has one. Uh, Twin Charm? Sure. We have them both in the party. Miss? We're not supposed to miss. Alright, let's go for the Leap Slash. All the others are busy here. Go. Some decent damage out there. Let's try for the uh, charm again. Really? Video game. Let's try a normal charm. I don't know what's going on here. We're going to use Marley to uh, set up haste. The frog can go with Leap Slash. Now it works. I don't know why Twin Charm wasn't working. I think Twin Charm something else? I could have swore you had something else. Thought you had the uh, the other male. Really? I thought he had the other male. Who else has the male? Then? Uh, nope. Try this again. Go for the twin charm. There we go. There we go. I thought you had the mail. The Mega Elixir must be either a rare steel or something, but because I'm pretty sure we always got the uh, the other thing here. All right, uh, Marley haste on Ayla, and we're gonna activate Dropkick. As you might expect, Yakra has some of the uh, traits of his predecessor. Namely, he has counterattacks. We decided to fight this with our own counterattacks. But... Look at that damage. Fantastic. He does have chaos and he does use it, so definitely be aware of that. Uh, the Vigil Hats I equipped uh, before the start of the episode are very much appreciated here. Heard about it from the ancestors. Your weaknesses are... This is it! Yep, he found my weaknesses, all right. And I found your weakness. I spam very powerful attacks until you die. And it's not going to take very long with this amount of damage. Defeat it again. And for his final attack, he will hit everyone. Again, I believe if you're too close, he uh, does do his uh, his counterattack from before. Uh, it's not the same one, but he will use that uh, spinning uh, Lavo spawn needle attack as a uh, as a counter at times.
sparkle. Now, if you remember back, probably, well, considering the, the break, about a month probably, there was kind of a divide between these two. I was wrong to be so stubborn. Didn't even think about how you felt. No one in my heart, but the words just came out wrong. I too have that problem. Thought you left me, but uh, realized that it was I who abandoned you. But I'm here now. Talk about everything that's happened. Chrono, mother. Mother, how sad. It's taken me so long to understand what Eliza meant with her last words. Someday when Nadia grows up, she will bring her beloved to you. Welcome him warmly. It will be a day you remember forever. You heard her last words? Now, if you remember, it was the Chancellor that put the idea in Marley's head that he worked too much and couldn't even visit her on her deathbed, which we now see is a lie. Now, it's possible that something has changed over the course of all the effects that we've had on history. But for the most part with this game, they'll let certain things be affected, but like continuing storylines and relationships between characters are pretty much unchanged over the course of these events. Like their conversations pretty much follow from one to the other. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any disconnect between them. You were so young. Ran around saying, Daddy, it's fun having all my favorite people. Imagine being that young at your mother's funeral. That's just inconceivably sad. <laughs> being you so happy, she felt reassured. She left us quite peacefully. That's how it was. Chancellor lied and stirred things up. I used to call you daddy. You did. Now this is probably a like a Japanese thing. It was probably um, a different variation on you know, like a, like a nickname for a dad kind of thing. Um, my nephews uh, call my father, their grandfather, Papa. Uh, that's their little nickname for him. But I'm guessing that's kind of what they're going for here. Daddy just seems an odd choice for the, for the name in our current climate. <laughs> Sorry for doubting you. Let you exit the castle, but you be careful now. Take care of her. Indeed, sir. Now, if Chrono were here, he would just, I think, nod. Uh, but it's originally it's designed for Chrono to be, uh, you know, to have some involvement here because, considering Chrono's dream from much earlier in the game, that's the beloved that uh, Marley's mother was referring to. That's the uh, cannon, you know, ship, for lack of a better term. Melchior, can't let you run the whole show. Let me make some weapons from the rainbow shell. Finally time for me to do something. Watch and learn. Well, we should probably go follow him. All the way to the rainbow shell. All right, we've made it uh, all the way up here. There are no more enemies anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. This is very rare. This armor, it deflects magic. Can make you one prism dress, featuring maximum defense. Or it can make you three less effective prism helms. Which would you prefer? As a kid, I changed my mind each time which one I went for. 
after learning more information about the game, I eventually learned that it's always the better choice to choose the Prism Helms. The Prism dress is female only. The Prism Helms are unisex and can be equipped by anyone. I would highly recommend you go for the Prism Helms. Uh, if you're looking to get access to a Prism dress, we will have that ability later on. All right, just wait there. Now, it's not imperative, but for, you know, uh, to be op you know, uh, what's not optional, um, efficient, it would be beneficial if you did the Sunstone quest before completing this quest, because, ah, Sunstone, I'll create an alloy out of it. Finished. Off you go now. Got one Prism Specs. The best accessory in the game. Don't think that's the last of my bag of tricks. A couple episodes back I said that uh, Robo's quest in the Genodoom was potentially the best in terms of rewards of any side quest in the game. The only one that's even close is this one. Got one rainbow. Finally feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. He will not leave until you have brought him the, uh, the sunstone to finish everything up. The rainbow is the rainbow sword, the best weapon in the game for Chrono. Comes with a 70% critical hit rate. Holy crap, this weapon is broken. The only thing that, you know, would be so completely and utterly broken is if somehow they managed to combine these two together. Four times damage at critical at a 70% rate. This game is not that broken. And until the remake, or the DS version and the PC one. I don't think they have exactly that, but they have some really broken accessories you can get in the uh, post-game dungeons in, in that version. Anyway, um, Sunshades, those were nice for a little while. Ups attack power to the max. Fantastic. This ups your physical and magical attack power by 50%. The damage output is insane with these on, and it is broken levels of good. And I forgot to give you your Terra. Um, yeah. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. We got a lot out of this episode. I, I really enjoy picking up all the really powerful gear. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm uh, thinking about it, the Prism Helms. Defense plus nine. Also, uh, Magic Defense plus nine. I'm not sure if it's both, but um, yeah. Magic Defense plus nine. Lock status. So basically, this... Uh, is free, uh, you know, more status protection, just like the uh, the Nova armor and just like the uh, the Vigil hat. This one says protect status, this lock status. I'm guessing the only difference is like this protects you against things and this just locks your status in place and it can't change. I think it does basically the same thing. Um, I always treat it as if it does. Um, I like to give the prism hats to the girls early on. I just like to pick characters that don't have access to it through armor. Like in uh, in this case, uh, the gloom protects against status and it's actually better. It also gives one speed, so he doesn't need it. Um, here, we can give it to you or, you know, he can have the Nova armor. Basically, just make sure everyone has status protection at this point because everyone needs it. And if you haven't figured out who you want to give it to, um, just choose those with the lowest uh, stats. I'm going to give it to you. And let's give it to Marley. She's got the lowest physical defense. Good enough. But yeah, Prism Helms, very nice. They're basically your second best uh, piece of headgear in the game. The best one we haven't seen yet. Uh, we will eventually get access to two of them. Uh, and unfortunately, we don't get access to them for a little while yet. 
course, we could go after them right now, but, uh, nah, not quite yet. I think... How many more side quests do we have to do? I think I've done most of them already. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, I've switched up my party, and uh, there's a couple more things we can do before moving on. Um, do note that we don't have to worry about our level anymore, even though we're right before the, you know, hit level 50. This guy will be in this form from level 40 all the way up to level 98. He does have one final form at level star star or level 99. Uh, that will be one of the uh, bonus episodes eventually that I will show off. I'll just be using uh, a file where I've already maxed everything out. I'm not going to bother to do all the grinding and get from level 50 all the way up to uh, max level in this file. I have other files for that from previous playthroughs, but uh, I will eventually show that off. Um, one other thing. Items. Magic tabs. Let's give those to Chrono. Told you we're gonna use all of them on Chrono in this run, and that's what we're gonna do. And in combination with the fact that he has all of those for a magic stat of 49 now, which he never would have had anything close to, I've probably given him over 20 magic tads. He, his magic stat is really, really low. He's almost got as much magic as Marley and as Luca. The only one that's beaten him by a lot is Magus, and he's not even beating him by that much anymore. Anyway, new party. Magus, Ayla, Chrono. Chrono has the god set up with the prism specs, Nova armor, prism helm, rainbow sword. He is uber powerful at this point. We have charm top over here, and we've given the sunshades to you. We're pretty much ready to go. We have one final side quest that we need to complete before we can move on to the final and oddly optional dungeon, the Black Omen. And that final quest is one we've already started. We just never got a chance to finish it because, well, there's more important things to do at the time, like saving Chrono. Mainly because Chrono is really useful in this fight. Especially once we've got him all powered up. Hello, Ozzy. Time for a rematch. That's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.